Hi there, my name is Ronke Posh. Thanks for coming back to my channel and welcome if this is your first time. So today I'll be talking about a smartphone. When is the right time to give my child a smartphone? So I often get these questions. When should I give them a smartphone or when should I give them a, a phone at all? So I'll be answering those questions. I have about seven points that you can consider. There are several other points that you can consider, but these are quite important tips when you want to give your child a phone. Now, you need to understand why you want to give your child a phone. Now, a lot of people believe you give your child a phone when they're teens or for whatever um, reason. However, as we can see, the COVID-19 has changed a lot. It's been a game changer. A lot of parents have had to buy phones for their children if they can't afford devices so that their children can get online and continue education. So you find that children as young as five, six, seven year olds have phones, not necessarily to call people, but they have the phones so that they can continue online with their education, with their learning. So is it right to give that child a phone? Would you say no? I don't think so because the child is actually using that as a tool to aid what the age should we give the child a phone? So let's even pretend the COVID didn't come. What age should we give a child a phone? Now, why are we giving a phone? So many parents are working away and they have mobile devices in their homes so that in case of an emergency, their children can actually call. Now, this device can be given to a caregiver or an older child. So that happens also. Now, when those phones are left at home, oftentimes they're not smartphones or we recommend that it shouldn't be a smartphone. Just a phone that they can use to get in touch with the parents. Now, times have moved on. We need to understand the why. Now, a lot of teens, let's get to that, they want a smartphone so they can get on social media and so that they can, um, they can work online. They can socialize online. They can do all sorts of things online. So when is the right time to allow my child to have a phone to get on social media? Now, all the social media platforms, including WhatsApp, have an age. An age where your child is allowed to use that particular um, social media platform, be it Instagram, TikTok, or whatever it is, they, they all have ages. Now, because it has a, an age does not mean that your child can use it at that age. Now, if you have a social media platform that says 16 or 13, but your own 16 or 13 year old does not behave like a 16 or 13 year old, you need to consider the mental and emotional readiness of your child. Because we live in an era where there's sexting, there's cyberbullying, there's a lot of ugly stuff that happen online. Nudity, violence, and all sorts. Can your child handle that? And I'm not talking about you using your paranoia. Some parents are so paranoid, they don't want their children to be on social media at all. They don't want them to have phones. However, some children are not even into social media and phones. Not every child wants that. But if you have a child of that, that you feel is too curious or is too childish and may not actually behave in a manner. So if the child is 13, for example, you believe that your child still behaves like a 10 year old. Why would you give the child that phone? Because it says 13 on the platform. So I don't advise that parents do that. You must know the reason why. So have a conversation with your child. If your child begins to say, oh, mom, I want to go on social media or oh, I want a smartphone, you want to know why. When my daughter was in year six, so she was about, I think, just about 10 years old. She was pretty much one of the only one, if not the only one, that didn't have a phone in the class. And her self-esteem was not affected because I let her understand the why I didn't want her to have a phone. If she needed to send a message, maybe she forgot her homework or she wanted to send a message to a friend, she was free to use my own phone. However, I didn't want her to own a phone at that age. As time went on, she was the one that even confirmed to me things that she heard in the classroom and the, her further understanding of the reason why I didn't want her to have a phone. So it's very important that you get the buy-in of your child when you want to um, get uh, a phone for your child. Then you have to have this conversation, have this agreement. I've heard of people even signing contracts with their children. That once you have this phone, access to social media, you need to agree to certain terms and conditions. When are we going to use the phone? At what time are we going to use the phone? When is the curfew? When are you going to stop using the phone on a daily basis? What am I going to install on your phone to ensure that there's safety on your phone? What promises are you going to make to ensure that you align with the values of the family and you're not going there watching the things that you shouldn't be watching, um, behaving in a manner that does not reflect the true value of our family?
So you want to have that detailed conversation. And you also want your child to trust you. And you also must trust your child. And let that child know that when they see things online, they can have a conversation with you. My daughter has seen one or two things pop up online. And she has told me what she has seen online. We've had several conversations for many things that she has um, found online. If you find your child suddenly on a page or a website, it's not the right one. The first thing you do is not to um, start screaming and yelling and shouting or hitting or beating or doing whatever. You actually want to find out how the child got to that site because honestly, sometimes it is a random accident. Yes, I know some children seek these things. They know exactly what they're doing, but don't always assume that this is what they want to do online or this is what they desire to do online. Don't let the paranoia get the best of you. So we're talking about smartphones, we're talking about um, tips and tools that can help you as your parent in a generation that actually loves social media. And I'll also be telling you about smartphones and why your child should actually have a smartphone. Okay? Thank you. Rogue Bosch. See ya. Bye.